All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel. Guys, we're a little crooked there. There we go. Uh, this is the Knives Fast channel. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Stick around. Check us out on Monday night for a live stream and go check out Knives Fast on Instagram. Guys, we have a lot of fun here and I appreciate all of your support. Now, we have two slip joints here in leather slips and these are... Uh, sent to me by our buddy J.R. Miz, great member of the community, awesome dude, offered to send me some knives. He is so cool. So let's take these out. They're both slip joints, and these are both from a company called Superlative, with a V and no E at the end. Um, and Superlative is made up of Javi Garcia, Jared Oser and Enrique Pena. Uh, really cool dudes, and these are definitely uh, Jave Garcia style uh, slips from what I've seen. They are leather slips. Knives go in there. They're a little larger, but that's pretty typical. Um, knives go in there really well, and, you know, just, just good-looking slips. They have the superlative logo on them, and, uh, yeah, really nicely done. Now, I, I believe those slips do come with the knives again, uh, I didn't buy these, our buddy JR did, but I'm I'm pretty sure he didn't have to buy them separately, but I'm I'm not positive about that. Um nope, okay, yeah. Right here on their website, it says that they come with the leather slip. So uh next thing, neither of these are currently in stock. So I'm showing you something to kind of give you a feel for the superlative brand and um you know what they can do more than go get one of these because they're not available okay so let's start with okay this is the comanche by the way and this is the cruisador and the first thing you will see is that they're both not on the small size of slip joints matter of fact i happen to be carrying today the jack wolf um the brand new sharpshooter and you can see i mean it's you know closed that one's a little bit bigger and closed this one's a lot bigger um, so I'll keep this out and I'll show it to you in our comparisons at the end. All right. So let's start with, no, you know what? I've got the, uh, on my computer here, I've got the, uh, Cruisador pulled up. So we'll start with that one. Now, first things first, guys, neither of these for a guy like me. Now, for those of you that don't know, I do have some arthritis in my hands. I have a little bit of difficulty if I can't easily pinch a slip joint open. One of my favorite things about Jack Wolf is that the vast majority of theirs are easily pinchable. Now, this has, and this has, I'll just show them both, both have a really crazy, um, uh, beautiful looking, by the way, swedge. And that swedge makes it where I cannot just pinch this. Now, this has uh, a kind of a sort of an open-ended fuller or long uh, pull uh, on both sides. And so you can come back here and grab it right at that. That's what I've been doing. Again, I don't like to kind of get down in there with my thumbnail because I don't really have a thumbnail. Um, let me wipe that blade a little bit. Um, but so that's how I like to open this knife is just like that. Now, these are titanium. You can see here you have overlapping titanium frame, which is so cool. You got this uh, carbon fiber, which I believe is toxic storm, but I'm not sure it's it's green uh, fat carbon. Let's see if it says, these are sold out. This is my biggest problem. Being sold out, it makes it a little tough uh, to know the exact materials. And it doesn't really, to be honest with you, it doesn't really say what fat carbon it is on their website. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, it does. All right. So it is jungle wear. Okay. Jungle wear, uh, and they also had it in orange G10, and they also had it in black camo carbon. Now, uh, this one right here was $264, and again, you can see, pinch it like that. We've got this really cool uh, spear point with a really awesome, uh, wow, Casey, satin finish blade, superlative there, great big sharpening choil. These are in M4, which is super interesting. Superlative logo. Nice chamfer here. Nice transition uh, between the bolster and uh, the material. You can't feel it. Good grip on this one. Guys, it is a four-finger knife for me. Very nice. I like it. And it is. it creates this contoured feel. 
there's your back spring with incredible finishing between that. That is so well done. Uh, really nice and, uh, you know, really good. Now, nice and clean on the inside. I do like their way of doing their, um, uh, wow, shield. I don't know if that's a titanium that's just part of the frame and you fit the scale over it or how that's done, but it looks really cool. Um, now, uh, there you go on the clothes. Now, if, uh, if your know, spring weight, uh, you know, it's, it's funny when I pull it from here to here, it is very strong. I would call that like a seven. But then the pull to there uh, feels more like like a five and a half to six. Real easy on that, you know, close right there. Real easy. I would say that's like a five, five and a half. But then now again, it's much stronger on that close, like maybe six, six and a half. Um, so it's hard to give you a weight simply because it kind of varies. That is super easy from there to there and there to there. And it is much stronger there, but not, you know, it's not super snappy either. And then pretty crazy uh, to pull, whoops, pretty strong is what I'm trying to say to pull to this point. Okay. Um, so hopefully that makes sense. So I'd call it, I don't know, I think I'd say six and a half at the most and like five to five and a half at the least, if that makes any sense. Um, and again, these are both. Uh, pretty decent cutters. I've done a little bit, but again, these are not my knives, so I'm trying to you know, be kind of careful with them. But you can see they'll they'll serve as a cutter. It is a thicker stock uh, than some slip joints and a nice uh, flat grind there. So that is the Cruzador. All right, we'll come back. Uh, actually, you know what? I, I lied. Let's go ahead. We're going to cut. This is going to be a long video because it's two knives. All right, so that's the Cruzador, and then we'll do our comparison to the Comanche here. And by the way, I think it's lighter on the open, and the same thing goes with the Comanche, because they're trying not to tear your thumbnails off. I think that's exactly why they made them lighter. Now, typical Knives Fast comparisons, there is uh, the Rat 2, and there is the Rat 1. So they're right in that pretty big, but not really big size frame there. Uh, they are taller, especially the Comanche. And then we'll go ahead and put our Jack Wolf out here. This is the sharpshooter that I'm carrying today. And you can see they are definitely bigger than the sharpshooter. Faux show. Sure. So there you go. All right. Put that one back in the pocket. Nice. All right. So, um, so let's do our um, specs on this one. It is uh, seven and three eighths inch overall, 4.25. This is on the Cruzador, uh, 4.25 closed, 3.3 ounces, and the blade stock is 0.13. Okay. And then if you jump over, let's go ahead and do the same thing and then backtrack. If you go back over and by the way, the Comanche is are always sold, also sold out. And in this version, it was $274. Okay. Uh, this is my Carta. And you've got a really interesting, what looks like copper uh, shield on this one. So that's cool. Um, and um, it is seven and five eighths inch, open four and a quarter, closed 3.7 ounces. And the blade stock is thinner, 0.127. Uh, by the way, it does say these are running on bronze washers, and you get a full set of uh, hardware and a premium leather sheath. So really cool. And they do come in, I should show that real quick. They do come in these really nice boxes um, that you can see here. You look. So it was originally called the Infidel and they changed it to the Cruzador. Uh, but there is your cool boxes that they come in. Those are pretty sweet. All right. And all right. So let's talk more about uh, this one. So this one does have a much taller... Uh, really wicked looking Warncliffe blade. Now this one is hollow. That one is flat. Uh, you do have a nice sharpening choil, nice swedge up here. Um, again, not really able. I mean, I can sort of pinch it, but I really have to get down to the tips of my fingers. Um, you can, you can open it with the nail nick. 
um, and it is pretty light to that point. So I think that's why they did that. Um, it's it's hard for me to pinch. I got to do my thumbnail on that one. Um, and the spring is much lighter on this one. It is more like a four and a half to a five and a half. Same thing, four to four and a half to a five, five and a half. Um, so, you know, you do have a very nice, come on. All right, I did pinch it that time. Nice finish here. Beautifully done. No gapping. I mean, there's no gapping. Or Both of these are made phenomenally. Again, titanium frame. Good finishing between the micarta. Now, this guy is a swayback. So, it kind of comes in your hand and you can see it is very thick and chonky. Uh, that's the word I would use. You can put your thumb up here. Just don't press down a lot. Now, cutting-wise, uh, this is the better of the two. It is, you know, shaving sharp uh, because, again, of that uh, hollow grind. Just a cool knife. Now, uh, ergonomically, uh, they are both very nice, and they are both four fingers. You can see nice and contoured. Feels great. This one is not contoured. Still feels great, but, again, you have that sway-back effect back here in the back of your palm, but it still feels Really, really nice. Uh, M4 as well. They are both M4. Yep. And uh, really, really cool. So this is, uh, and by the way, uh, they're both very, very solid. No movement there. Nah. Very solid. Very well, well thought out. Well done. Uh, definitely uh, different, you know, as far as pinchability. Um, not my favorite in that regard. I wish they were a little easier to do that with. Um, I love the idea of the M4. That's kind of cool. And I love this one mostly because of the hollow grind. But this one ergonomically is magnificent. So two really cool slip joints JR sent along for us to check out. If you have questions, more specifics, guys, uh, I'm counting these as more of an overview than a review. So if you have specific questions, definitely ask down below. I would love to help out. And I appreciate each and every one of you for your support. Um, and again, make sure you have liked, commented, subscribed, and hit that notification bell. Thank you, JR, again. And thank you guys for watching the Nice Fast channel.